Hi, today I'll show you how to easily fix not only Logitech, but any speakers with a 3.5 millimeter audio jack that's been ripped off or damaged. As you can see, my grandma's favorite Logitech X230 speakers don't have a 3.5 millimeter jack anymore. To fix this, you'll need to get a new replacement 3.5 millimeter jack. There are different types available. A link to a suitable jack is in the video description. Of course, as with any DIY job, you'll need a few tools, a soldering iron, and some heat shrink tubing. Step one is to cut off the damaged cable end or the 3.5 millimeter jack if it's broken. Then stretch the cable several times from the speaker side to the clea end. This helps ensure the jack lasts longer. Next, use a sharp knife to carefully remove the outer jacket of the cable and separate the wires by color. Remove the outer jacket from both wires and tin all three wires. Also, tin the contacts on the jack. This will improve soldering quality. Slide some heat shrink tubing onto the cable. Cut the ground wire slightly shorter and solder it to the correct contact on the jack. Clamp the cable in place with the jack's built-in clamp. Now comes the tricky part. It's a bit of a lottery since you don't know which colored wire is the left or right channel. So play a left-right channel test audio on your device and put the wires to the jack contacts to find the correct wiring. Once you figured it out, solder the wires in place, apply super glue, slide the heat shrink tubing over, add more glue, and screw the jack close. If you want a cleaner finish, cut the heat shrink tubing slightly smaller than the jack housing. Then stretch it bigger, apply super glue where the cable exits the jack, and install heat shrink tubes. And that's it. You've installed a brand new jack, and your speakers will sound like new again.